Thanks for tuning in. This is the Life in the Miner, and I'll be showing you one of the most efficient ways to tune your NVIDIA cards by using a software called NVIDIA Inspector. So let's check this out. Okay, so really quickly before I begin, I do have to explain that when it comes to tuning your graphics cards, a lot of people use MSI Afterburner. Now, uh, MSI Afterburner is a great tool for newer people. Um, it has been around forever and a lot of guides do recommend using it. Now, it's just really easy to use. Uh, you just basically use a slider. Um, but these guides are actually not updated and I personally think there are better and newer softwares out there that will get you better results. Um, now, I personally use different softwares to tune my NVIDIA and AMD cards. And in this video, I'll show you a more efficient way to tune your NVIDIA cards in hash per watts by using NVIDIA Inspector. Uh, so let's check this out. Okay, so I do want to mention, I do want to show you the results first. Uh, so this is my 6 GPU NVIDIA 1070 RID. And I'm going to show you the power draw and how much it's hashing. So I'm going to show you the power draw using this energy monitoring smart plug. And let's go ahead and first check it out when my computer is idle. So if you check out the smart plug, um, this is basically me just turning on the computer. And uh, it does state it's about 68.1 watts. And this is my computer at idle. Okay, first let's go over the stats on MSI Afterburner. Um, now as you can see, I'm averaging about 191.5 mega hashes. Um, now, this is pretty much the most common setup if you have NVIDIA 1070s. But of course, uh, to get the best results, you do want to tune each card individually. But let's go ahead and now check out the power. So if you check out the power draw using MSI Afterburner, it's using about 788 watts. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check out the stats using NVIDIA Inspector. Now, as you can see, I'm averaging a little bit less, about 190.5 mega hashes. Now, I'm pretty much using the same setup as MSI Afterburner. Now, the only difference is instead of reducing the power limit, I'm basically now under volting my cards. So let's go ahead and now check out the power draw. So as you can see, the power draw using NVIDIA Inspector, I'm getting about 625 watts. Now that is significantly lower than using MSI Afterburner, but now let's go ahead and review the numbers. Okay, so going over the numbers, my computer idled around 68 watts. Now using MSI Afterburner, I was averaging about 191.5 mega hashes at 788 watts. And then of course using NVIDIA Inspector, I was averaging about 190.5 mega hashes at 625 watts. Now doing the calculations using MSI Afterburner, that's about 0.243 mega hashes per watt. And using NVIDIA Inspector, that's about 0.3048 mega hashes per watt. Now that's for my whole mining rig, but if you did want to break it down for each card, basically you do want to subtract the computer idle from the total watts. So using MSI Afterburner, Basically, each card I was using about 120 watts and averaging about 31.92 mega hashes. So, doing the calculations, I was getting about 0.266 mega hashes per watt. Now, using NVIDIA Inspector, I was basically using about 92.83 watts per card. And, uh, but every card was averaging about 31.75 mega hashes. So I did average about 0.342 mega hashes per watt. So as you can see, using NVIDIA Inspector is a lot more efficient than using MSI Afterburner. Okay, so personally I use NVIDIA Inspector to tune my NVIDIA graphics cards. Now this tool allows you to undervolt your NVIDIA graphics cards instead of just reducing your power limit. Um, now I do want to mention before I continue with the guide, I do want to thank Reddit 
uh, in the Ether Mining subreddit. Um, and this was posted by Hetfield37. Now I did update this guide a little bit, so it's a little bit more easier to understand. And I did update the links, but let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so let's go over this guy. Now here are of course the links to download NVIDIA Profile Inspector and NVIDIA Inspector. But first you do want to uninstall any overclocking softwares. Go ahead and download these two softwares. Now make sure you do get the latest versions or you will get an error. So if I went ahead and clicked on this link, it'll go ahead and take me through this page. Go ahead and download the, the latest build and make sure you download this file. And then if I go to this link, to download NVIDIA Inspector, uh, you want to scroll down and make sure you download the bottom one, uh, the 1.9.7.8. Uh, this is the latest version for NVIDIA Inspector. Once you download the softwares, what you want to do now is open up NVIDIA Profile Inspector. So if I open this up, this is what it will basically look like. And then you do want to scroll down to number 5 and set CUDA Force P2 state to off and apply changes. I went back in here, if I scroll down to number 5, and then the CUDA Force P2 state. We want to turn this to off and then apply changes. Okay, next you do want to go ahead and then locate your NVIDIA inspector folder. And then uh, you do want to go ahead and create a bat file using notepad and save it in that folder. So the easiest way is go ahead and just search up notepad. And then for a 6 GPU 1070 rig, go ahead and just copy this one right here. This is the settings I use. And I'll go ahead and explain all this. Now, the first set right here is how many GPUs you have. This command adjusts your core clock. This one adjusts your voltage. This one adjusts your memory clock. And this one adjusts your power limit. Now, for your voltage, you want to maybe start at 650,000 and increase it by 12,500 until your hash rate normalizes. You want to go ahead and modify your core and memory clocks. Now, you basically need to subtract either 200 or 500 depending on your graphics card. So, for example, if you use 700 for your 1070, in the bat file, you want to go ahead and put 500. And of course, you do want to add as many GPUs as you want. And to do that, you do want to, of course, set the GPU and adjust the first number in each command, as you see right here. And then, of course, you do want to save this as a bat file. So file, save as. You want to save it in this folder. And save it as a 1070. And then dot bat and then save. Now go back to your folder and then you'll see your bat file right here. Now then of course just go ahead and run your bat file and then if you go into NVIDIA Inspector and then show your overclocking you'll see your changes here. Now of course what you want to do is run your miner and then you'll see that your hash rate should be somewhat similar but of course your power draw will be a lot less. Alright, hope you folks learned something new. Now at this time, when it comes to GPU mining, you need to do the research and be updated with the new information and guides to maximize gains. Now using NVIDIA Inspector, and to get the best results for your GPUs, you want to fine tune each card individually. Do the research and test it out. I will of course have the guide below and attach all the links in the description. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.